Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so, kiddos are going to be home for an extra week. They get an extra summer vacation week. So, yeah, you're going to be hearing them because, um, yeah, my house is pretty packed, okay? But anyways, what I wanted to talk to you guys in this video, what I wanted to talk about, actually, is the comparison between Google Pixel and OnePlus. This is a question that spawns up quite a bit. Which, when people will be like, should I get a Google Pixel? Should I get a OnePlus? What's the difference between the two? Why are people saying OnePlus is better than the Pixel? Why are people saying Pixel is better than OnePlus? What is creating this really odd feud? And I wanted to put, I want to put that to rest, okay? Now, for a lot of you guys know, I'm a huge fan when it comes to the Google Pixel devices. I really, really enjoy them. I enjoy the vision that Google has for them, even though they poorly execute it sometimes. Though, I can see the vision that they're seeing with this when it comes to the Google Pixel. One of the big points of the Google Pixel is the fact that you're going to get support for at least three years. Two software updates and three years of security. Um updates as well now that didn't happen with the original google pixel as for most of you guys know it actually got a year extended um so it ended up getting android 10 and it got uh, security patches up until december of 2019 and then it was that was it so now the original pixel is no longer supported now while this you know doesn't compare to like what apple does with their iphones where they do like five years of support um three years it comes close to that now, the reason that OnePlus is, is something that most people look at and they say, hey, you should just go with the OnePlus over a Pixel, is because OnePlus has a similar pattern when it comes to updating their devices. So, they update it around the same time that the Pixels get it. So, like some OEMs when they, like if there's like a, say like a March 5th security patch, right? You know, like LG and Samsung and them, they may get it like a week or two, sometimes even three weeks, maybe even a month after, you know, that the security patch comes out. But when it comes to the Pixel, they get it right around the 5th um, of that month. Uh, OnePlus is not far. At times, actually, they get it before the Pixels do. So that's what entices people to look at OnePlus and say, okay, you're getting stock Android sort of oxygen os is pretty much stock android with just a few of oneplus's ideas and tweaks to the um the ui itself you know so you're getting a software updates you're getting you know stock experience and um the pricing the pricing is probably one of the biggest selling points of oneplus although that seems to be a pattern that's changing as oneplus is evolving they used to be known as the flagship killer now we really won't say all that much as they're going forward, but they are still good in their price range as what they're pricing their uh, their their flagship device, basically. Even though it's kind of weird to call it a flagship, but technically it is OnePlus's flagship. That is their main selling device um, that they put a lot of stock behind it. And yes, nowadays it contends against the Pixel. You hear a lot of comparisons when it comes to the OnePlus. Pixel is usually tossed in there when it comes to that comparison. People really want to know, where should I go? And I'm here to say this. Like, I totally, again, said in the beginning of the video, I'm a huge fan of the Pixel. It's been a long time coming for Android to just step into the hardware game and just kind of contend against Apple and its iPhone. Really, that's what it is, right? Like, I don't look at the Pixel to contend against the Galaxy line. I don't look at it to contend against the G series or the V series from LG. I don't look at it in, in that sense. I look at it as Google's answer to what Apple does because we know Apple has done hardware you know, for a long time. 2007, the first iPhone was unveiled and they've been building hardware since and software for that hardware. Whereas Google's always remained a software company and an ad company and that's what they mainly focused on was Android until they went with the Pixel. And I'm going to dead this right now on the table, but the Nexus program was not what the Pixel is right now. The Nexus program was a joint effort where Google would commission a company such as Samsung or HTC to build hardware to house the newest version of Android that was going to be released, right? That's how it always was. Nexus came out, new version of Android came out. And they kept the Nexus devices prior up to date only because they were part of the Nexus line. That was a joint effort 
with the Pixel, that is Google's hardware. Now, is it very similar to the Nexus program? Of course it is. They do commission. I mean, they have the HTC development team that, that built the first Pixel and have input on future Pixels. That development team was actually purchased and is now basically Team Pixel. It's no longer the HTC development team. It was bought by Google. So um, they're considered right now hardware. Hardware is what Google and the Pixel is. Compared to the OnePlus, I think OnePlus devices are good. I see a lot of videos talking about it, people talking about it, and you know it seems stellar. Now, some of the things that people say about OnePlus that they consider to be a problem is that it's manufactured in China. And while we kind of, you know, are a bit iffy with companies like Huawei, even though people want to rally for Huawei, um, Huawei pretty much is like in tune with the, with the Chinese government. And there's a whole lot of stuff on that that you can research yourself. I'm not saying that Huawei is a bad company or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all whatsoever. But I'm just saying that there are some people who have trust issues with things that are manufactured in China. And albeit OnePlus is a company that manufactures in China. Let me say this, the Pixel is as well. Um, if you guys saw recent news because of that thing that's going on, that that dun -dun -dun, that's going around, that has people going into solitude, into you know quarantining themselves, um, Apple was trying to move its productions out of China and into India, and guess who was gonna follow in suit? That would be Google with the Pixel. So pixels obviously are manufactured. Some of them are manufactured in China. So let's kind of dead that on the table. But for me, when it comes down to it, between OnePlus and Pixel, if I had to absolutely choose one, I'm going to go and give my vote to the Pixel. I'm going to give it to it. Not because it's better than OnePlus. No. The reason why is because I am a supporter of the Google Pixel device. That's what I prefer to use. That's what I you know, prefer to be a good option of a buy. Um, that's not taking anything away from OnePlus. That's not saying that OnePlus is not as good as a Pixel. There's things that OnePlus is better than a Pixel at. But at the end of the day, when the Pixel launched, and I seen that Google was stepping into the hardware, I said that if it came out decent, then I'm going to support it through because I don't expect the company to just perfect it first shot. What company ever does that nowadays? What company can just perfectly create something out there. If, if, if there was something that was perfectly created, then it would be no need to continue variations after that. That would be it. That one whole thing that's so perfect, it can do no wrong. So, Pixels, I see the vision of what Google has for the Pixel. I know they've missed their mark on what they were trying to achieve with every iteration of the Google Pixel. But I still believe that they can correct it. While most people are quick to say, give it up, Google, get out of the game, I'm not. I will rally behind them. It's just like if like people were to say that OnePlus should give it up and get out of the market and pull all their devices out. Why? They sell good and they do good. So they belong. At the end of the day, there really is not much of a difference between them as far as being the average consumer. I'm not coming from a geek's perspective or a nerd's perspective. I'm coming from a person that's going to look at both options here and weigh my options out on where I'm going to spend my money. Now, OnePlus, better at pricing. Google, long-time support. And I just activated Assistant. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this rant. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section of the video. Which do you rock with? OnePlus, you rock with Pixel. You guys tell me by just simply hashtagging OnePlus or hashtagging Pixel. Let me know in the comment section of the video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed my little rant. If you guys subscribed, I thank you so much for doing so. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload another video. And yeah, that is it for right now, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, aloha. Let me out. I'm stuck in your pocket.